Good evening. My name is Bill Yee. I'm the artistic director of the Alhambra Performing Arts Center. Welcome. Everybody full from their turkey? Yeah. Anybody allergic to turkey? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tonight we have a special program. How many of you have been here before, by the way? Okay. You notice we have kind of a little club set up here with tables and stuff. And these very special lights. Now, if you touch the light, it'll get brighter. So, you know, these good emergency backup lights, yes? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a few things going on tonight before I introduce our guest artist. And if you see around us, we have gentlemen here taking pictures and stuff. This is part of a television program. It's going to be on the program called Be Inspired on THIZZ Cable Channel. And uh, this is gentleman's gentleman. If you know Rodney, he's uh, famous from the Jack in the Box days when he was a kid. That's the guy. Okay. Yeah, you can get his autograph in the back. So, you know, we have this thing with the chef, right? Obviously, white coat and all that. Uh, so this is called the Taste of Music. And this is starting a new program. We're going to try to have jazz once a month, plus our regular programs. So if you look at the back of your program, you see the four upcoming concerts, okay? Now some of you have been here before, but in, in December, which is not on that, we have a Christmas carol sing-along, which is almost sold out. But if you want to come, you know, please go to our uh, Eventbrite website, or I think my phone number is in, you can just contact me, and we'll, we'll sort of have to make some space for you. But you notice this is a friend of mine, Chef Lydia Felix. And Chef Lydia and I work together Anybody ever been to the Langham Hotel, the old Ritz Carlton in Pasadena? Yeah, well, Chef Lydia was there for just 10 years. Gar Manger, which is the cold food stuff upstairs. And she's also famous for her high tea. Remember high tea? Little tea sandwiches and stuff like that. That's what she does, among other things. And she has a little company, too, that makes rim dips. You know what a rim dip is? You know, you take your glass, put a little sugar on it, and you can't do it here, of course, in the church. but. And she'll do that. So, Chef Lydia, tell us about yourself and what you're making tonight. Good evening, everyone. It's great to see you, some of you, again. And uh, the menu for today, it's, uh, it's a little more of the Asian part. So, because we're international here, right, Chef? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, today will be um, teriyaki meatballs, um, sweet and sour uh, hot wings. I have for my, uh, for as a vegan option, I have uh, fried tofu, wrapped on cucumber. I also have um, uh, veggie egg rolls, and um, let me see if I forget anything. And white rice, I already said that. Uh, yeah, macarons dipped in chocolate. And I have one more option, but I just can't remember. Um, it'll be a surprise. Yes, yeah, it'll be a surprise. Okay, that's pretty much, thank you. Hello, it's Rodney Allen Rippey, and you're watching A Taste of Music here in beautiful Alhambra, California. That is our night, and you're watching Be Inspired TV right here on Theers TV. Tonight, it is a night of smooth jazz with the Sabine Jazz Trio. They're laying down some smooth jazz, and of course, there is some great food to go along with it. It's paired with the help of the one and only Court on Blue Master himself, Mr. Bill Yee. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing great, Rodney, and welcome to the Alhambra Performing Arts Center and the Alhambra Culinary School. This is incredible. You have your wonderful assistant, our featured chef, Miss Lydia Felix. How you doing, Lydia? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. We were here watching you prepared, getting all of the wonderful appetizers together. What would you say about a night like this where you see food and music paired together? Well, I, this is great. You know, it's, it's, it's wonderful, I believe, for the public to, you know, the people who came here and enjoy it. Good jazz, good food, good company, I'm very sure. It is, and everyone's having such a great time. Chef Yi, what does it take to be able to put a night like this together for the community, but for those who want to come and taste some of the best food in Southern California. Well, thank you, Rodney. Well, first off, uh, we know that music and food is the international language. 
it crosses all barriers from nationalities, religions, uh, countries, you know, everything like that. So if we can combine music and food and do it in a very professional manner, and yet in a small venue where it's kind of intimate and you have musicians right here, the great chefs right here, and it's the city of Alhambra, California. So why not? Why not in the city of Alhambra? And being able to pair such great music, great food, and, of course, the whole overall experience right here in beautiful Alhambra, California. Chef, what would you say to young people who are thinking about going into a career in culinary? Well, I think the culinary is, is not for everybody. Cooking is for everybody, but culinary arts is not for everybody. And if you have a truly passion for cooking and you would like to pursue it as a career, mm -hmm. it's a great. It's It has, you know, it has a lot of rewards. But yes, going to the culinary industry. That is very interesting. To be able to hear this from the mouth of a chef and... Chef Yee, could you say, what is it that separates a great cook from actually being able to be a master in culinary? Well, fortunately, Chef Lee and I attended the uh, famous Le Cordon Bleu College of Culinary Arts. And if you have formal culinary training, it does help because you have fundamentals, you understand professionalism, you understand safety standards, and you understand what quality food is. And also, we are part of the American Culinary Federation, what they call the ACF, which sets the standards of American dining. And it's very important to say, you know, you can have food everywhere, but make sure that it's quality food, and make sure it's done professionally, make sure it's done safely, especially in the times of post-COVID. Wow. And it makes a big difference. When people have that comfort level, when they go out to eat, they want to feel that everything's going to be perfect from the presentation to the taste and, of course, the safety. That's a big part of it all. So what would you say about Sabina and her jazz trio? You are a master beyond the, beyond the kitchen. You do the kitchen as a job, but your real passion is your music. Well, my slogan, uh, Rodney, is uh, cooking is my profession. Music is my passion. And if I can combine the two, because my actual background is in music, uh, growing up uh, in the classical business and then the, becoming a rock and roll star and all that kind of stuff. But when you have that com combined with uh, food, good food, uh, done in a professional manner, I think that's very important today. The combination is amazing. Well, we've got a, a big night ahead of us. We've got guests out here. I'm going to let you go out here and kick off this night. It's got You two have a whole audience out there waiting for you, so get ready, everybody. It's smooth jazz right here in beautiful Alhambra, California.
we're here with Chef Felix, and we've got a little sample here for me. I'm excited about this. So tell me, what is my little sample? Well, this is part of the menu, and this is a uh, teriyaki meatballs. And then most of the appetizers that I serve tonight is this size, and it, and the menu was um, teriyaki meatballs, uh, sweet and sour hot wings, uh, uh, to fried tofu. Dropping um, cucumbers so for my veggies as a vegetarian option. Also, I have um, egg rolls, veggie egg rolls. Um, also, I had let me see if I look at it. Um, the macaroons. chocolate macarons. Wow. <laughs> well, we had a great selection here, and I mean the food was amazing. Everyone was lining up. I didn't get a chance to try mine yet, so I'm gonna try this incredible one and only meatball here. We've got a little bit of, wow, look at that, everybody. This is a meatball here. I'm going to give it a try. Wow. Teriyaki meatball. Incredible. These are great for game day. But, all right, you have to tell, what's the secret? What should people do at home to make the perfect meatball? Well, um... Pretty much is uh, what I the way I do it. I combine um, ground beef, um, um, pork, sausage, and uh, chicken, ground beef. So I mix it together with some um, condiments, and then I uh, make the little balls, you know. And then I put on the in the fridge for like about twenty minutes, so it could get they get more stability. And then also, um, and then after I put it on a sheet tray. And then I put it in the oven for 350. I make a teriyaki sauce, and then um, I just mix it, and then I garnish it with a little bit of uh, mixed greens, wow. you know, the microgreens. Well, I have to tell you, that was one delicious meatball. You did a fantastic job tonight, Chef. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. 